Hey folks, in this video we are going to teach you how to do a headstand. A headstand is a skill where you put your head on the ground and then place your hands where you can see them. You walk your feet close to your body then lift your legs up into a straight position and hold. You can practice this skill on a mat, a thick carpet, or grass, but I don't recommend that you do it on a hard floor. Your hands and head are the foundation of this skill. You should place them on the ground equidistant from each other as if they were the corners of a triangle. You should be able to see your fingertips in this position. When training your headstand, it's likely that you will lose your balance and fall towards your back. When this happens, you should tuck your chin and do a forward roll. What you don't want to do is arch your back and touch your feet to the ground first. This is kind of uncomfortable and if you allow it to happen a lot, it's harder to develop control. The first thing you are going to do is put your head and hands on the ground and press your feet into the floor to lift your hips. Then walk your feet as close to your hands as you can. Spend a few moments here to get comfortable in this position. Then lift one leg and set your knee right on top of your elbow. Press the other foot into the ground to shift your weight entirely onto your head and hands and put your other knee on your other elbow. Work on this until you can hold this position for 10 seconds without coming down. Remember, if you fall forward, tuck your chin and roll, and point your toes. If it feels inaccessible to hold this position, put one leg up on your knee, then try to switch them slowly, keeping both legs on your knees for just a brief moment. The goal is to keep the movement controlled to strengthen this position. Do this many times trying to slow down the movement every repetition. Once you can hold knees on elbows for 10 seconds, you are going to go from knees on elbows to tuck back to knees on elbows. From knees on elbows, shift your center towards your fingertips and roll your hips up as you bring your legs together into a tight tuck. Lower your knees back down to your elbows with control. Your goal is to be able to do this five times in a row without touching the floor or falling before you move on. The next drill is to hold the tuck position. From knees on elbows, lift your legs into a tuck and squeeze your legs together. Focus on having a tight position with your toes pointed and moving as little as possible. Work on this until you can hold this position for 10 seconds without coming down. Once you can hold a tuck position for 10 seconds, you're going to go from tuck to straight back to tuck. From your tuck position, slowly send your toes towards the ceiling, pushing your hips forward as you straighten out, then reverse the movement to return to tuck. Your goal is to be able to do this five times in a row without touching the floor or falling before you move on. Try not to rush as you do this drill. You will progress faster if you focus on control and remember to keep pointing your toes. After you have mastered the previous drills, you're ready to go for the straight headstand holds. With every attempt, go from knees to elbows to tuck to straight with control. Work on your straight headstand until you can hold for 20 seconds and then come back down the way you came up. There you go. That's how you learn to do a headstand. The main issue I see students have is improper hand placement. People have a tendency to place their hands right next to their ears instead of where they can see them. This is a less stable position than the triangle placement and makes getting your knees onto your elbows much more awkward. Another equally common issue is when the feet aren't pointed. It may seem like a minor thing, but it's important to point your feet for two reasons. First, when you point your feet, it tightens up your legs in general, which makes the skill easier to balance. Second, the skill looks better because it's tighter. If you are struggling to get from knees on elbows to tuck, it might be because you are lifting the legs before rolling the hips. If you don't shift your center of gravity towards your fingertips before you come to tuck, your legs will be too heavy to lift. If you are struggling to get from tuck to straight, it is probably due to bad aim. You need to send your feet straight up to the ceiling. If you send your feet too far forward or back, you won't be able to hold the position. The solution here is to go slower and really feel the moment you lose your balance. Then next rep, make an adjustment. 
Lastly, a generally bad habit I see a lot is when new students try to jump into their headstand. This is harder than lifting up from knees on elbows because you have to have more precision to end up in a point of balance. This also makes the rest of the movement harder to control. Once you have a 20 second freestanding headstand, the next step is to learn how to do a tuck press. In a tuck press, you put your head and hands on the floor, then walk your feet towards your head and lift your legs simultaneously into a tuck, then go to straight. Essentially, you just skip the knees on elbows position. Work on this until you can do it five times in a row without falling. After that, try to do five tuck presses in a row without touching the ground between each press. At the bottom position, you should still straighten your legs as much as possible and point the toes so that you are in a tight pike position. Then bend the knees to tuck back up to headstand. The same drill can be done moving through a straddle position. Walk your feet towards your face and straighten your legs as much as possible. Right as you lift your feet off the floor, straddle your legs as wide as you can, then bring them together as you're coming to a straight position. Reverse this movement on the way down. Make sure to keep control of your knees and toes during this drill. Once you have mastered your tuck and straddle presses, do the same drill in pike. Pike is the heaviest shape to press up, but other than the extra weight, the basic mechanic is the same. Try to keep your legs close to your body during the bottom position, and it'll be a bit easier. Work on this until you can do it five times in a row without touching the floor. And if you want an extra challenge, try to do five presses in each of the shapes without coming down between them. All right, folks, that's it for this tutorial. We hope that it helps you master your headstand. You can find other tutorials and more on our Patreon page and by subscribing to our YouTube channel, as well as on our website popupmovement.com and on Instagram at popupmovement. See you soon!